What's up guys, it's Lou from Unbox Therapy and today we're taking a look at the Corsair Vengeance 2000 Wireless 7.1 Surround Sound Gaming Headset. Now something that stands out to me in that description is the word wireless and that's because we haven't seen a ton of high-end wireless gaming headsets up until this point. This is definitely one of them. Now the wireless functionality is achieved through this transmitter. It's a little USB dongle and that's generally better than using something like Bluetooth which has to compress your audio in most cases. As you can see on the side, you can pause this if you want to look at the exact specs. Something that stands out to me here is the 50 millimeter drivers in each of the ear cups. That's because the larger the driver, generally speaking, the better reproduction in the low end or the bass response that you're going to get. So these things should be no slouch on the low end. You're also going to get up to 10 hours of wireless performance without needing to recharge the headset. So that's pretty nice. And up to 40 feet is the distance you can be from the transmitter. That, of course, is the little dongle that I mentioned earlier. Now, there's something included in the box, which is like a little stand or a little dock for the USB dongle. And that's a good thing, because what it means is if you're using a desktop, you know, you can use the little extension cable and dock to bring that transmitter into a more convenient location where you're going to get better transmission. Taking a closer look at the headset, you can start to appreciate the build quality as well as the attention to detail that Corsair has put into the Vengeance 2000. These things are solid. They're built like a tank, which a gaming set needs to be because they get a lot of use. All the hinges feel very solid as well as the swivel on the boom mic. I do like the fact that you can swivel the boom mic. It means you can get it up out of the way when you're just using these as standard headphones. Now, you've also got the dongle, the little USB device that I mentioned earlier for transmitting your audio. This thing is definitely portable. No big deal there at all. And then you've got a USB cable if you want to use them wired as well as to recharge the headphones. As I said before, you can get 10 hours of wireless usage on a single charge. If you guys are interested in checking out pricing and availability on the Vengeance 2000 headset, after you're finished watching the video, of course... I will drop relevant links down in the description so that you do not miss that information. So here's a closer look at how the dongle interfaces with the docking station. And as I said earlier, this is going to be nice to use with gaming desktops or otherwise so you can get the transmitter in a convenient location instead of back behind the system. So here's an even closer look at the headset. And something you're going to notice, at least something that I noticed right away, is how wide the headband is. That's a good thing. It means it's going to distribute the weight of the headset over your head in a better fashion. Therefore, you're going to have less of a pressure point, you know, that sort of point on the top of your head where the majority of the weight is being held. You have a perforated leather, which is really nice. It sort of looks like, you know, the leather wrapped steering wheel in a sports car or something like that. You have a very nice volume adjust wheel. Here is the port for connecting the USB cable to recharge the headset. You've also got the boom mic, as I said before, which swivels all the way up and out of the way. Overall, guys, this is a very, very nice looking headset. And I got to say, having handled it, that the quality will not disappoint you. These things are incredibly solid. And they're one of the few high end gaming headsets that supports wireless, which is definitely a cool thing. It means you're not going to be tethered to your machine. You can be a little bit more free. You can have a little bit more distance from where you're gaming. And also, you can just, you know, walk around and listen to music. Maybe you're cleaning up your room or doing some chores. I don't know what you're up to, but hey, you can have these on be up to 40 feet away from the source and still be listening to your audio. That's a really cool feature and function. Anyway, guys, that wraps up this quick look at the Vengeance 2000. As I said earlier in this video, the relevant links are down below if you want to check these out for yourself, possibly purchase them. Thanks as always for watching. If you guys enjoyed this content, please remember to leave a thumbs up down below and I will catch you on the next video. Later. No, 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 no.